careful on these trails when it's wet and there's a bunch of yeah so you really got to be careful on these trails there's these really steep drops right here there's rocks here you can trip on and leaves and it's wet and i think it's about a good 55 degrees out here so i didn't bring a jacket or a sweater or anything like that because once you start walking you know you start to heat up a little bit you know right, so hear me out when I first started this trail, right, there was a sign saying, watch out for bears. And I'm like, what? Like, I know they live out here, but I don't know what I would do if I'm on a trail, right, and just saw a black bear. I don't know. Maybe I'll just walk the other way, but I won't know till it happens. And I hope that doesn't happen, by the way. But, um... I've heard some tactics. Um, so pretty much what you got to do is make yourself seem bigger than the bear. Make a lot of noise. Because you really can't run. Like, you can't run on these trails. Like, there's so much rocks and leaves out and tree trunks. And me, I'm a trip and fall. Like the white folks in the movies. You know, but look at this. I'm literally in a cloud, y'all. I cannot see what's like way ahead of me. And that's a little scary because when I hike, I like to like have a view of things. Like I keep my head on a swivel, you know, see what's around me. And me, if I hear like the slightest noise in the forest, I'm like, what's that? Nine times out of 10, it's a squirrel. But who y'all, I'm tired. But uh, I'm gonna keep trekking on. Man, it's important to... Y'all, I'm so upset. I did not wear my hiking shoes. So I feel like I'm just like sliding everywhere in these Nikes. <clears throat> so as I was coming downhill, usually when you're on a trail in Georgia and you go downhill, most likely you got to go right back up. And that's what's, that's what's happening right now. It sucks, but I gotta burn these calories. <clears throat> the reason why they tell you not to feed the bears in the wild is because it's for your safety. You know, if we go out and feed these bears whatever, bread, a sandwich, a candy bar, bears eat anything. Bears will dig in trash, they'll trash your campground looking for food. And they're very smart creatures, you know? And um, the thing is, you don't want bears to be too comfortable around humans, you know? I don't want a bear approaching me on my hike. On my hike, I'm trying to relax and, you know, calm down. And I'm not trying to see a bear. It's 
very nice. Beautiful trees. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna take a little break. So I need to figure out if I'm still on the right track. Okay. So it's important to get a map because you don't want to get lost. So came through here. I'm taking this yellow trail right here though. You know, nothing too strenuous today. So taking this yellow loop right here. Let's see where I'm at. I can't even see the sun. So it's kind of sometimes it's a little hard to know what's northwest, east, south. So I have to use my watch to tell me. So because I can't see the sun, I really have to rely on my watch to tell me where's north, east, west, and south. So currently I'm headed, I think west, um, which makes sense because I'm heading back. It's a loop, so I'm heading back to the to my car. But it's important that you follow these trail markers here. So I'm on the yellow trail. So let's me know I'm still on the yellow trail. So it's important to follow these things here. I don't want to veer off anywhere. I always want to know where I'm at. There's not a lot of people on the trail. Well, number one, it's cloudy. Number two, it's really not the busy season. Like it's winter, so, and it's a little wet. So people don't want to come out and hike when it's like that. I mean, I don't mind really, but a lot of people usually go out and hike in North Georgia around late spring, definitely the summer fall but winter is like the down season you know i wouldn't be surprised if a bear lived in this area there's a lot of nooks and crannies in these rocks it's a nice shelter you know i could definitely see a bear in here I was so thirsty. Mm. It's important to stay hydrated on these hikes. You always wanna make sure that you bring enough water on your hikes because the last thing you wanna do is run out of water on a hike. You do not wanna be dehydrated. I really, I really have to use the restroom real bad, so. But when you're out in nature, the nearest tree is your nearest restroom, so. Listen, when you gotta go, you just gotta go. There's no restroom around here, so like, what else can you do? As long as you're not out here, like, leaving trash, plastics, water bottles, cigarette butts, you know. Because that is how you start a forest fire. You know, you should be okay. Using the bathroom out in nature is natural. You know, what do you think animals do? <clears throat> so usually when I see a fork in the road, um, usually there's like a marker on a tree. So over here, this is the red trail. But if I stay over here, it's the yellow trail. So this is a good time to stop and look at the handy dandy map to see where we're at all right so i just made the loop here i think i'm right here with the red trail nope i'm right here actually the west overlook because i was headed west so i'm right here so i have about that much to go maybe half a mile i would say well this is an interesting tree They was like, just in case he didn't understand in English, they got this thing in Spanish. Prohibido nadar. That means swimming prohibited. They don't want you swimming over here. Last thing they need is somebody getting hit by a boat. Dang, but this is the best water to swim in right here. Oh, this looks neat. I definitely gotta come back in the summer. Oh, this 
this water is so beautiful. Look at this, just beautiful. Man, too bad I can't swim in here. Looks like it's boats only. If my phone's supposed to drop in this water, I'm swimming. I'm definitely getting in this water, I'm swimming. This dock is moving. I know they got some good fish in here. I know the fish is real good out here. But uh, yeah, this seems like a very nice chill place to come camp, to come fish. You know, we got the mountains back there. It's a little cloudy today, but this is this is gorgeous. Like, look at this. Look at that. A woman that can take your spotlight. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular So at the entrance of the state park There's like this really nice overlook That you have to stop at But it's absolutely just beautiful y'all I feel like I'm in the clouds Like you know Got old faithful back here Still running, paid off. <laughs> but yeah, it's just absolutely. Well, baby, I've been around the world, but I ain't see myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart, but there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do, because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my baby. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away. My love. So don't give away. My love. So don't give away. And another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away. My love. So don't give away. My love. So don't give away. And another woman that can take your spot, my love. Be my love, so don't give away my love, so don't give away my love. 